the best retailers in the world brand what they give up to be great at their core. For example, you Costco fans. <laughs> wow, I, did. I was not expecting that kind of cheer for it. So Costco's the same way. My stepdaughter was having a birthday party and I had to buy all the provisions. And to, could you get like a vegetable tray and like a fruit tray? Don't forget the ranch dressing. She could swim. She loves ranch dressing on everything. It's almost crazy. But where do you think you have to go buy in bulk? Costco. Have you ever thought about the fact that you actually have to pay to walk in? You need a card. I have to prove that I, I can even walk in here. It's ugly. Floor to ceiling boxes. If you want ranch dressing, you got one choice. There's no brand selection. It's Hidden Valley Ranch or nothing. And then you got to buy almost a gallon. Like, what am I going to do with a gallon? And then you go to checkout and they don't bag your groceries. They fling them in your cart. Hey, do you have a bag or anything? No, but we've got these dirty old boxes under here that you could put. Oh, cool. Thank you. And then as you walk out, there's a woman at the door checking your receipt to make sure you didn't steal anything. Number two retailer in the country behind Walmart and their subscription renewal rate, those are those subscription cards, is like 98%. The only people that don't resubscribe are like, they're dead. Who are these people? Who doesn't resubscribe to Costco? They embrace this idea. If I needed toothbrushes, like, hey, here's a half dozen. Oh, but anyway. All of our businesses give up something to be great at their core and lead with it. Start to brand as people come in, expectations are consistently met and they stay and they buy more and they advocate. But that cheer for Costco, that tells you that they're doing something right and there's a lot wrong about it when you really peel it back.